protesters the rhetoric used during the election cycle held rallies across the world in support of the Women's March on Washington. While many of the rallies were held in major cities, nearly 500 marchers walked through Bemidji. Armel Meyer has more from this weekend's events. This is our community. Let us reflect love and hope. The event drew a much larger turnout than expected. This is amazing. Pam Lem organized the event because she wanted those who were unable to travel to D.C. or other major cities like Minneapolis to be able to participate. We're so remote from the other areas and I feel like um, we need to band together. Band together against messages of intolerance. Ain't no power like the power. Martin Grefa says he was happy to see that the crowd included some men. I think it's important as a country uh, to express our uh, respect and our solidarity for women. Ellie Carger says she was encouraged by her mom to come out in March. She just thought it would be good to be with so many other people, like holding up a sign to show women's rights are important too. Sue Ellis says she is marching for this younger generation. They deserve to have respect. They should be strong. But what started as a march for women's rights soon turned into much more than that. For some, this was a time to speak out for others. All people of this country should feel that they have just as much right to their life as anyone else. In Bemidji, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. According to the Women's March officials, over half a million people attended the march in Washington, D.C. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.